Alright. So, hey gentle folks. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to my channel. And in today's video, I have a very special guest. And my guest is laughing away, but that's fine. <laughs> like really. I will allow you to introduce yourself. Tell the people them where your name. Yeah, who you? Who you? <laughs> so, my special guest is here and I'm gonna allow him to introduce himself, okay? Good day, whichever part of the world you're from. I'm Davani. Her son. <laughs> <Get out of it. laughs> Alright guys, so in today's video we will be eating some food and you already saw the title that we'll be talking and we'll be doing a little bit of a mukbang story time. So which one of the story time you want to start with? When the DJ clan used to go on his bag like something, something. All right, and then we can talk about the time when we go by the bed. <laughs> you remember when we go by the bed? Of course, of course, remember that. Who could forget? Anyway, so guys, um, what you have? Okay, so I have fried rice with sweet and sour chicken and bok choy as a Vegetable side. You? Jesus, you're there. We have mala chicken, fried rice, and veg. Cream veg. All right, so hold on, people. Somebody eating as a guy. Sometimes people are doing mukbang and then just did they attack, 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 but me hungry. You hungry? Me hungry. All right. Yes, mm. that's, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I'm gonna delicate piece of your sweet and sunny again. Or I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's a question. Yes or no? You never want no more, my mother. Mm -hmm. I have no your coughing like that one meme. Um with the guy named Who? Aegis Elba on Hot Ones. God have mercy. No no no. No way. The meme goes here. <laughs> okay. Wow, he was eating something hot. So it's a show where it's a YouTube show and basically them invite people onto them show and them have like what seven to ten hot sauce mm -hmm. and them just dab chicken on it and them have a mm -hmm. little talk show. It's like a mukbang as well. But each spice gets hotter and hotter and hotter mm -hmm. as you go down the line. And you just sit down there and he's like, yeah man, we can manage this. <laughs> and then he got I to that Jesus. one spice and then they are coughing and coughing. Mm, I believe that. And it's like, is it really and truly that bad or is it just that show? Mm. What is that? Oh yeah, when I think they act. Because the man is an actor, but <laughs> in the same beat, Pepper Hat. Mmm, I don't know. Alright, somebody I hope say that go and talk so me can go and eat. Go and turn up. Let me sample up the more of the food and all these things. When I eat, I'm busy, you know? Mmm. It tastes really good though, but I don't want to eat my sweet and sour. You know what I'm saying?
Chicken. Sweet and sour. That was my love. Mm. Mm -hmm. The thing is, I like spice. Mm -hmm. Both the artist and the food, but <laughs> you know, sometimes when pepper, pepper, you know, mm -hmm. take a sip. With the whistle. You know? Alright, so let me pause. So, of course, let me. Nothing. You don't want to get to your parts, I think. No, continue. Just All right. Me. I remember once when he was at Mandeville Primary and Junior High School. About which we already did, you know. You didn't know Mr. Ricky with us? God rest your soul. No, man. You was at lower grade? I was in grade three. You didn't know grade three, Davani? I think so. Was that a grade three or grade two? Which class Mr. Ritinia used to teach? One S. I miss everything your class you were in. Oh. It wouldn't be so strange if you did grade three. Anyway, so where we, we used to live, um, in the mornings, I would walk him to school because it wasn't very far. It's a little distance still. And, and um, walk him to school. So I, I didn't realize that he would have recorded certain of the journey, certain points of the journey. So, what should I say? Yeah. All right. So, one day now, before school over, me tell him, so me go go a Saint Elizabeth. At the time, I used to design things, make the crushes stuff, the man thing. So, me said to him, say, all right, when school dismissed, just wait for me over school, right? Because they used to have a little area in the schoolyard where kids who did lessons extra lessons and stuff mm -hmm. and of course you have the security gate and everything so yeah me say you yeah, all right you know so anyway happen i sent the taxi and there was this place in st morrison's variety at the time so i think i sent him and i'm by my tread and everything and um everything was working fine the time when would i reach back before school finished up all of that we work it out in a man and come home in a taxi you know and when we reach close into the town somebody in the taxi say driver you can drop me around and so on so so me look for the time now you know and me say jeez i'm the lady i've a chew off my time you know but anyway this are you tell go wait till me come so i say all right so the driver take a detour and then the lady said, no, um, I'm not this apart here. Go around on the other road. So it delay and then traffic and all these things. So eventually, now when we come after the taxi stand, you know, it's not like they're going to drop me at the school because it's not in that direction. So I would have to come off uptown and walk, go down to the school. Everything all right. My blood forget me tread them. Because anybody when know me and know some crush and know some love tread on me. I come with me crush and tread in a man. Happy and everything, you know. Come through school gate now if you come pick up such man. So I mean, look at me say, school yard kind of scanty. That's okay. You know what I mean? Because school over the other ship started. So, in you know, unusual fame, I see the amount of kids when I normally see. Anyway, lo and behold, I go in, I check, I don't see the van. <laughs> All right, maybe you run at the school back a play or something. I read one of the, you know. Proceeded to go around to the school back. Oh, there is a video that I did that I'm going to link when I was talking about when I was at the same school. Same school, but at the time it was Mandible All Age, right? Mm -hmm. So... Me get my fair share of problems over that the school now. This a brother him now. Me I look for Davani. Me not see Davani. So me say, that's weird. Everyone me check for Davani. Me can't find Davani. Everybody over the school know Davani. You know, cause I look a youth way. You know, him 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 know like we are around and everything. Ask security guard for him. He not see. So me say, all right. Let me go check. I think Miss Artina was having after lessons or something like that. I think so. When me go to her, ask her if she see Davani. She said no. She said seriously. Now me start panic now, you know, cause me no know where my picnic day. 
So, me go eat little something. And maybe you can tell me what is in your mind. Because at the first time, I go ask him what is in my mind. Because I told him to wait for me, you know. So, what do you go through your mind? Hmm. So, basically, it was a school sh sh shift school at the time. So, school would start around, say, 7 o'clock in the morning. And then around 12 o'clock, morning shift would leave and afternoon shift would come in. Right? So, 12 o'clock and at the time, I didn't remember mom said she was going to St. Elizabeth. So, I was like, okay, 12 o'clock, 12.30, 1 o'clock, no mommy. So, I was like, okay. <laughs> I know the way home. We always walk the same path morning and evening. So, I was like, okay. I was a beat and I was like really and truly contemplating. Do I leave off school campus? And I was <laughs> like, I know she's going to reprimand me for it later. Why got me odd? I didn't remember at the time. Okay. The mind of a first grader is fickle. <laughs> I drew that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was a beat now and I was like, okay. All my friends have gone leave campus and everything. And I was like, okay, me one over here now. This is not nice again. Because when my friends were there, we just <laughs> play and <laughs> worm out the time. But after a certain time, I see them parents walk in and it's like, okay, <laughs> by friend <laughs> one, <laughs> by friend two, <laughs> by friend six, <laughs> seven. You hours later. Precisely. <laughs> So I was like, okay. At the time, I had one of those toy watches on. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Two o'clock, okay. And a toy watch, but a, a watch was suited, but it looked clear. I was like, okay. I was getting quite far now. So I was like, okay. Enough of this. I was like, all right. I'm going to leave campus and I'm going to go home. And no other way, I know nothing to talk to a stranger. And I was like, okay. So I grab my bag, oh, Jesus. strap up, <laughs> and I walk straight home, right? Mm. So at the time, I was living with, you know, Aunt Nell and Uncle David, and them see me coming through the gate, they was like, When I were me there, it's like, what is it? When I didn't there. <laughs> so I got home, and Aunt Nell was like, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was like, I live here. <laughs> so she was like, "Okay, where's mommy?" So I was like, "Um, well, um, anyway, anyway, well, well, mm. no, no, I kind of walk She was like, "You what? No, say that again, cause I didn't hear you." <laughs> I was like, I walked home by myself. I was like, by yourself. I was like, yes. I was like, why? You know, so Kerry could look you down out there, right? Because, you know, Jamaican grandparents, I was like, all right. <laughs> Kerry, if you walk by yourself, Kerry could look you down. Right. Because, mm. you know, grandparents and parents aren't going to trust. Protective. They're just protective. Huts, huh? Rightly protective. Thoughts. So, you know, walk on the road by themselves. You know, so somebody could have kidnapped you, right? You know, so a could have looked you down, right? And then she asked me the classic question. Did you look both ways when you were crossing the road? Mm. I was like, I did. And she was like, all right, all right. And then she proceeded to call you. All right, pass this or no? Make you something over there so to wipe off my hand. Pass here, how everything I will know. All right. So, gentle folks. Now after me, run on the whole school and start panic. No, I'm nervous, 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 I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Where is my picnic? Have mercy. 
Nobody knew where he was. So I said, all right. Um, I'm going to see if I walk out on the road and I'm going to see if I find him because the Lord, my picking and disappeared. They kidnapped him, then gone with him. Even the teachers came out of the class and started looking around, help me look for the van. He, no, the van, you know. All this time, me and no one say, as you just hear, he say, this boy picked me. Take myself and gone home. So, anyway, I start walk up the road now. I take out my phone you know, and believe me, every number when I know by heart, all of them fly out of my brain, you know, people. Every single solitary thing fly out up here. So, oh my God! So, I try to remember, me try to remember numbers for somebody to call and say, me don't want to miss me, can't find him. No, let me tell us something no acne number by heart and brother and sister, everybody, every relative. I say, could I remember acne number? And, I mean, acne, I live with you know. And I take out the phone to go dial the number and I'm like, acne number, me scrolling on the phone and I can't find acne. And I say, and I feel like I need a brown paper bag, you know, because I feel the panic I climb up in my throat, you know. And then I say, all right, I go walk through. A juicy beef at the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to walk through juicy beef. I'm going to tell us I'm panic. I'm nervous and everything, you know, man. So while I did then I said, Duga, Duga, that way I nail number. The way I nail number time. I don't know what call all the time, you know. And eventually, me hear my phone start ring. So I say, hello. When I hear him, I realize I nail the panic. So she say, Mrs. is nobody worry yourself, you know, because... To how you sold me, no, say you're worried out of your skin. But don't worry yourself because the van reach home. I say, the van reach home. Oh my God. Anyway, so when I got home, even though me did upset me feel good for no, say, he reached home by himself and he was safe and he was okay. But the thing that I found really amazing was that, and I think you don't remember, you know, because Probably. you stop up a, a Chris, I think, which, remember which barber? But the barber that used to trim you at the time, Uncle Gary, you stop somewhere and tell him, just in case they saw me. If they saw you, tell you, say me, gone home. Gone home. <laughs> right, right. And then when you stop about three places, um, for your baby, you used to, we used to shop in our next supermarket and the security guard that everybody knew. You know the security you. guard. And this little baby at the time stopped. So about three places in stop, you know. So in stop and barber, in stop where we used to buy grocery, I met them, no say, he's on his way home. If them see me, please to tell um Philip said Mary is home. And he's okay. And then I think I told Miss Marlene as well. Yeah, you stop at the juice place too. Yeah. So there's <laughs> like this is a corner shop at the foot of our road. Yeah, man. And I was like, okay. She comes here mm -hmm. often, I come here often, we come here often, so she might be passing through here. Yeah. So I was like, but okay. But we stop there now. I was like, okay. You, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to tell you. And and that is quite, you know, because it's it's good when your children know adults, you know. And I see your snow though. When they have persons that know them, know the family, and who you trust in case of an emergency. Because in his case, he was doing the right thing, you know. In his head, he was going home because he forgot that I told him to wait. So the whole panic situation came out of all of that. And he was fine, thankfully. But may I tell you, we did panic, 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 panic. But it all worked out. I'm gonna eat some more food. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go and mash up the food in the meantime. So guys, you don't know when food nice you have it. Yeah. It's case, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was one time, but I don't know if I didn't have something nice for the meal. You just have an old man. As a child. You see, that's too curious. And huh? since mm. then, what? of course, when you come home, you got me up. But, yeah, but I'm really too glad to. I'm not lying. Because I wanted him to know that he should follow instructions, right? But my blood bag boss when me realized it's safe. But me happy, me happy race about me then know what time it is and so. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, 
every single other day of that year, I walked home with her because you know. <laughs> but I think I'm around. Still never let go. Around second grade, I'm third still never grade, thereabouts. Um, I'm mean, still scared, so I never let you go quick. So around the third grade now, mm-hmm. there was this is a white container in the house, and I remember one day you came home with like a bag of skittles, I think, and she poured the skittles into the pan, and she was like, "Okay, every time you walk home safely, I get here." Or you know, you do something. Oh, some candy, something. Mm-hmm. Every time you walk home by yourself, that is, or you do something good, you can take sweetie. Not a beauty chair. So I was like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> simple task, simple reward. Yeah. And after a while, well, the journey got of, ingrained in my head. I think I'd started working. I started a job and that's why I never have no choice. Precisely. Yeah. So sometimes when it sound like a kids on the road, you know, people, it's not so much so that parents just want them to be out there walking home from school or anything like that. But sometimes you're working and you have no other alternative because, you know, like I said, the money are the greatest thing in some cases where you get your salary, you know. So shortly, I mean, what I realized is that the fact that he knew his way home was a plus and God was just so awesome and blessed me with our work. So now he, you know, may give me like a reward and of course he reached home and Arnold is there and he managed. Man done big man man. But I don't know, I think I would not have let go so easily if I never step away. Then yeah. <laughs> <Catch me. laughs> so now one day they when you make a move, it was it was worth it. You know what I mean? Because sometimes as parents, we really have it hard to let go and allow them to be um independent in a sense, you know what I mean? So why? Me did take me long to cut the invisible neighbor string, you know, so when you in cut the original, but sometimes we have this Invisible umbilical card was still there. I just wouldn't let go the boy, you know, wouldn't let go the boy. But eventually, I let go the boy and, you know, him improve himself. Yeah? So that's the end of that mukbang story time right there. We have more, though. I think so. Tell me where we need go courts, man. <laughs> Should I really? <laughs> All right, we'll add. <laughs> okay, so this is around uh, mm, about two years ago, I think. No, man, but so we under COVID two years now, you know. The thing, not you know that the five thing. Two. The right? five two. Right. I'm a bit further that. from that, man. Maybe four years. Think about four years now. Mm-hmm. So we over here. So I'm going to turn here. So about four. About four? Mm-hmm. Give her a shake, Alyssa. Mm-hmm. So, at the time, the mattress that mom was sleeping on, you know, when it... <laughs> it was here. So I'm like, okay, we can go to court and buy a mattress. Now, at the time... Well, I know we no one. Let me tell them this sweet part. Girl work, girl work and save up her nice clean money. <laughs> I say, yeah, me go buy my bed. Me not do no lay away, no lay nothing around here. Me not lay up the thing. Me go in a court and me go buy my bed. Your time. Cash thing me a deal with. Me not want to put for no lay away. So of yes. course. So. Mommy save up money and everything, and she had it on her credit card. Right? Mm-hmm. No credit card. Um, my prepaid debit. What one debit? No credit. It was prepaid debit. My, my work, my cash, put money in my side. Mm-hmm. Your debit card, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, at the time, she had the money on her debit card. Right, right. Um, 
and I remember us walking into courts and you know the little stint everybody pulls when they walk into a mattress store and you lie down on mattress. No, but wait, like, you left have something, you know. You left have something. We know, we know, we don't get like, to no, have no, It was close. Don't leave it up too close. It was time. close to closing time. I think courts close is around what? Like you don't remember six, the time. Seven. But I mean, no, I say, we did go in the like about with 15 or 20 minutes to closing time. I don't remember the exact time. I don't want to miss court. Close to closing time. Right? Closing time here. Yeah? And like I said, you know the little stint where you're on the mattress and it's like Press down mattress? Like No, not this one. Mm -mm, mm -mm. You jump on the next mattress and it's like mm. And then when they hear something I go buy my mm. mattress cash, you know. You can imagine the last sale for the evening. Cash. Like, yeah, man. man. So, the I thing mean, is... the staff is nice. No. At oh, the what? time, courts took card, you know. But because it was close to closing time now, they had shut off their POS system. No, you never shut off it. No, man, them shut off them POS system. I don't know if that happened, Bridget. They shut off their POS me system. I don't know if that happened, Bridget. Because guess what? Wait. When we go in, we go to this... Apparently she, she remembered me from somewhere when I went in first before I started checking the mattress then She said hi long time me no see you And you know sometimes when you when you see somebody for a while and you know want to look like you never remember exactly what you like, do Yeah So me just start yeah, talking to her and so my said yeah mm. And it worked out for me Alright So What did I And nobody now rush me and they never really rush me and I said boy I really I didn't look there Take the sauce. Okay, we think you may attack your wife. So, anyway, um, the long and short of the whole of this is that when me go now, you know, I'm gonna say, All right, I'm going to take a pillow top mattress, queen's size pillow top. Yeah, <laughs> so me flick back out, queen. flick out, make your head now, you know, and my lady take a card and go so, whoops. Cause it never, it, uh, why I said it wasn't shut down yet. It never worked at them. Upstairs with either. Right? Yes. So when we swipe it, so no. Like, um, the card now go through, you know, people. The card now go through, you know. So, I right, okay. said to myself, so wait, wait, no man. May I tell you the truth, you know. Although, me know say me work, me good up money and put in the messages. Somebody gone from the card now and I dip up in my money, you know. What am I going to do? Somebody apparently wiped the money from my car. Okay, you know, sometimes these things have my line. So anyway, I said, Jesus, God, me embarrassed her now. Because can you imagine after me done walk through the whole of courts with my tail in my back, I know some have up my dirty money. I'm purse for mattress and I ask the van, what thing about this one? And mm -mm, I ask you and you, I say, all right, that one you look like a nice one. I said, no, I like that one here. I said, they say you can you can go on it, you know. And we do all of the check and the test and test out mattress now. Can you imagine? Not a money. So None. So um inside me I panic, you know, straight up okay. me panic. Panic out of this world. So I say, no man, I mean, are you sure that this system is working? Because at my my current workplace, you know, if if um I don't remember what happened. Like, I mean, I remember if I didn't like go or something, it would not record the card or something. I forgot about all of that. It's been a while since I had to work in that system. So, the same girl already called to me now. Say, all right, come, come, we go downstairs. And I said, Jesus, God. I'm afraid I know, you know, man. And I feel back and my ears are getting red now, you know, because can you imagine the embarrassment of not having any money if you go pay for the mattress after me done? Make the girl write up everything, name and address, telephone number and all these things. And, and then the with this hell, nothing is happening. So we go downstairs and she goes, whoops, again with the card. Nothing. Nothing. So, absolutely you know. nothing. So me said, boy, girl, I figure start fast, think, no, you know, think, think, think of everything quickly. And me start thinking for me because even though me feel panicked on the inside, me said, there right. must be a solution to this. So I'm me sorry. say, you know, I said, one ATM machine or this. So I said, um, 
time. Door lock off now, you know. Security now. Let in nobody long time, you know. When we go downstairs, nobody not really down there. Because Empty. people with their brows gone. And through me the upstairs, I, I, I check bed and a bunk span bed and a... <laughs> and have a fun time. Now, a wee one in the people them store. You can imagine the other workers them want about them business and... I am in a hand no money. It's just like... I'm like... Yeah, um, eh, eh. You say, you know what? Can you allow us to go to the ABM and, and draw the money and come back? I'll let me mind in the body, me I said. Me have the ticket escape room. <laughs> I don't have no money. <laughs> Tell me finger cross and let me go to the ATM, you know. I'll be the see no money in there. Cut me a cut, you know, the last time this that appeared. store would see me. You understand? Me not go back in there, me not even walk past the outside. Uh -uh. Anyway, me, um, me, me not make a chair top thing, guys. Nice. In there, me buy that chair too, you know. And, and anyway, we're not going to talk about this chair today. So, me say, me and the van, you have to move fast, because by the time night, come down now, you know. And no, we go on the machine. You did still another store. I ran all I did two hours to reach up there. No. Yes. Mommy, you were still in this store, I did too. and I had to run because I remember how heavy I was breathing when I got to the ATM. Yes, but I me and you was in there. Straight me and you did run left me a little bit, but I was in there at two with a cold. Right? I remember, you remember. So anyway, people. Anyway, people. So we like went what, to the wait, wait, wait. So if you like what you're seeing so far, please remember to hit the like button. Like, comment, share, subscribe. So, you know, because that, that, that guest here, yeah, special guest today. So give him a thumbs up. Anyway. Hit the bell. Anyway. Yeah, hit tell the them call. again. <laughs> hit the bell. So make sure you like. Subscribe. Um, the button's down here somewhere. Hit the bell and set it to all. All right, good. Them get it now. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. You must do it by now. <laughs> must. Thank you. You see it? Yeah, you say you can't work on the call. I'm to get the company. I'm going to do the thing, you know. Anyway, so you know when people send out, you know when parents send out kids back in the day and night, I come and say, "Mommy, you want to go back and look for see if you come from shop." When me go back down to go at the store, I saw me see the sales rep, you know, from the inside, because in the light up, you know. I saw me see her back at the glass. I go so I try to look out and do to see if we are come back, if they lock up and go And wah, wah, wah. That the time they, yo, girl, go cash our money. And, I don't cash our money. Draw our money. <laughs> Draw our money. <laughs> Told me this glad. <laughs> come on, I'm still feel glad we know that I never embarrass her everything. So, anyway. My arm, um, I go back down there with my money and stuff, man. I just how much you got? Call that for me, Davani. I saw we are doing up in there. <laughs> we said, people, I was so happy. I was so glad because can you imagine how me that embarrassed the money? Look how me that embarrassed. So, anyway, guys. We have reached the point where the van box off your food and I still have little figure to eat. But anyways, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching today's video. Make sure that you give it a like, as I just said. Subscribe to my channel. Because I know this is the only time you have a company channel. I make sure I take it out of him before he comes off. You have to help me with other videos and something. Anyways, I can't name everybody, but I want to big up Deaconess Bless K. Big up! Say, say. No. <laughs> Bye. So you're going to come back from my channel? I know this is the only time. Have a nice day, everyone. Oh. Where you go? I think I hear somebody calling me. <laughs> <laughs>